Well, as recently as October, the hockey community experienced tragedies on the ice that have heightened the debate, should neck guards be required? This weekend, USA Hockey made the final ruling. NBC Connecticut's Dave Peck joins us live now from New Haven with the very latest. Dave? Hey, Kevin, yeah, this conversation has been growing, especially within the, within the last couple of years. Now, over the weekend, members of USA Hockey voted to make neck guards a requirement at the youth level beginning this summer. Accidents do happen, so it's best to be protected at any time that you're out there playing the sport. A long-time recommendation, soon a requirement across youth hockey. Everybody thinks it might not happen, probably never happened to me, but when it, when it starts to hit home a little bit more, I think it's a good thing. Starting August 1st, USA Hockey will require neck guards for all players and on-ice referees under the age of 18. That same mandate will also include 19-year-old players at the boys, girls, or junior level. It's about the pressure of what people do in the locker room, too. I think, you know, if all the players are in and buying in, just like a team winning out there on the ice, if everybody buys in on these items that you can wear to protect yourself better out on the ice, I think it's going to be a win for everybody. USA Hockey said the decision comes in the wake of yet another tragedy when former NHL player Adam Johnson was killed after being cut by a skate in October. Two years ago, it was the death of 16-year-old Teddy Balkand in Connecticut that led some local leagues to make changes. It's unfortunate what happened and to those families to be a part of that and, uh, you know, and with uh, Adam Johnson overseas. And uh, I think to be proactive is always a good thing. The CIAC said it has required neck guards since the 1980s, while the Connecticut Hockey Conference mandated them in their youth hockey league within the last couple of years. You never like seeing anything like that, but um, let me tell you, it's the hockey world is a groundswell of support and love. And that's like, it's a community, right? So everybody's out there to protect everybody and help everybody. Now, as of today, not all youth hockey leagues in Connecticut require neck guards. But again, August 1st, that will change. We'll hear more from the youth hockey community coming up at 5. For now, live in New Haven, Dave Peck, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin, back to you.